Welcome back to Village in Motion. It's Monday, November the 5th. And thank you for staying with us and not getting wet outside. Uh, it is a miserable day out there, so stay with us. And for the next uh, 10 minutes, we're going to be talking about the germs we have around here uh, <laughs> and uh, how to keep you from getting involved with them very much. And we're glad to have with us in regards to that, having Melissa <coughs> and having Brad from being our Associate Executive Directors. And we're glad to have both of you with us. Good yeah. morning. Good Thank you here. very much. Good, Good to be yeah. here. We've got, we're in the midst of a GI distress. Is that right? Yes, we're in the midst of, I would say, uh, GI illness. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the flu season, most predominantly at this point in time. I think everybody knows that. But we've recently been hit by some GI illnesses that are affecting both our residents and mm -hmm. some of our employees. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to come to you this morning to say that all of our employees have returned to work. Uh, symptom free and Wonderful. we haven't had any additional um, incidences over the weekend Wonderful. so that's very positive yes. um, as far as our residents we want to make sure that we keep them safe as well as our employees so last week I think everybody got uh, cubby stuffers um, then additionally we've done some education and some additional training for our employees right. and as many of you know we've taken some <coughs> uh, We've taken into consideration some of the things we need to do to keep our residents safe in dining services specifically, um, as well as the um, up additional um, upkeep in our common areas and various areas that our residents and employees travel frequently. Right. Very good. Do we know how many residents currently are experiencing GI distress? I would say that we currently, um, over the course of the past week, so I will say all the way back to last week through this weekend, we've had about 12 residents oh, okay. um, experiencing the GI distress um, uh, situations or symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, and we're working with the medical center to confirm them and to make sure that we're supporting them by follow-up phone calls, as well as <coughs> making sure that we are sending um, our comfort packs to them. Um, and even if you don't, have one of the medical center physicians as one of your physicians, it would be very helpful if you could just still call Crystal at the medical center, mm -hmm. just so that we can track and make sure that we are supporting our residents even when they're back in their homes to make sure that they have what they need um, to uh, replenish um, their fluids. If I develop the symptoms and I, I know I'm, I'm, no, I'm sick. Mm -hmm. Should I go to the medical center or should I stay in my apartment? I think you should stay in your apartment and what you should do is phone the medical center. Okay. They're happy to triage you over the phone um, by a physician. Uh, Crystal could make sure that that's facilitated um, or even calling your physician. I think the best thing that anybody can do is stay in their apartment, call the medical center or call your primary care physician, talk to them about the symptoms that you're having and this way we can avoid uh, further spread of the GI virus if that's what you have. Right. How long will it be while we're under this restriction? I mean, what's going to have to happen for us to come out from under the restriction? Well, we are going to continue to monitor both our employees and our residents. Um, at this point in time, we're going to continue to have everything in place that we have um, as precautions, and then we're managing it day by day. Okay. Uh, Brad is our incident commander, and so he is coordinating having daily calls with all of the executive team to keep us updated and everybody's reporting out. So as soon as we get um, what I would say the all clear, um, we'll be moving towards less precautions. However, we will continue to sanitize the areas, making sure that the cleanliness is in place, but we may at some point in time be able to go back to dining services doing what we would normally do. Okay. And certainly we're keeping a close eye on it because we have night on the town coming up. Right. And we've got some, uh, we have voting tomorrow. So we're taking all the right mm -hmm. precautions yes. to wash your hands, to sanitize, and just to make sure you're mindful of your um, environment that's around you right. tomorrow when you're out voting here at Green Spring and then making sure that we're safe for night on the town. Great, sounds good. Brad, so you're the commander, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Doesn't that sound important? That does. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it actually, it, it's important to have good communication, you know, throughout this process. Uh, you know, fortunately, we've got a well-experienced team, uh, including, you know, uh, Melissa and Lynn and Ty. They, uh, you know, Chandra's been through this before, and yes. so uh, <laughs> we're trying to avoid, you know, the extended... Um, you know, period that we had last year right. with the, you know, the flu GI. So uh, we're just making sure that everything's clean, everyone's educated, uh, and that we do some things in dining to make sure that, you know, we don't have any spread of this GI that's that's been going around slowly but surely. Sounds good. Yeah. 
A lot of other things going on though with the administration, right? Yeah, so we heard some good news about that. I, I have other good news. Um, you know, we just uh, are coming off the heels of the uh, resident survey yeah. and you know our goal was to have a 70 percent response rate we we worked hard and we talked a lot about you know the survey and and the importance of uh, you know the residents voice being shared and so uh, we had a last last minute push and uh, hit 75 oh, percent as our good. response rate very so uh, that will be st you know statistically significant we'll get lots of great right. uh, verbatim comments that we can you know put some action planning uh, about and so uh, I'm really excited about that and a lot of hard work ahead of us but it's important work right. so um, I also uh, just recently went to the art exhibit mm -hmm. over in Hunter's Crossing yes. uh, so if there's anyone that hasn't had a chance to go over and see the 20th anniversary exhibit uh, see the picture uh, photo albums mm -hmm. Um, there is one in there of uh, some people that you may not recognize. I, uh, I saw one of them, Brad <laughs> Andrews. <laughs> well, uh, I, I know Brad Hibbs is coming on, and he's he's out in the lobby there. You know, he hasn't aged a day, <laughs> and I've aged 25 years in the last 20 years. Yeah, so. you finally look like you're 25. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but what a great exhibit! Uh, we had a nice little ceremony, and so there's right. um, you know just a lot that goes into that, and right. so I want to thank the art you know, committee for all their hard work and dedication to that. Uh, we also have the coffee with the exec mm -hmm. that's coming. Uh, and I believe I even wrote this one down on 1119 mm -hmm. at uh, one, one to two. Right. Uh, we're going to talk about the village square life cycle renovation. So okay. the, the refresh that we're planning for uh, village square and uh, may even have some, a sneak peek at you know some of the uh, finishing. So Wonderful, good. yeah, so that'll be uh, good information that I know residents, particularly over in the Village right. Square area, have been waiting for. And speaking of Village Square, the elevator is supposed to be finished by the end of the month. Yeah, fingers crossed, yeah. toes crossed. Yeah. And this rain <laughs> stops again. I yeah. know. <laughs> you know, we've had so much rain and, and weather over the last few months. It's uh, it's been a challenge. Yes. But yes, we are coming down to the finish. So good. yeah. Are there other issues happening? Are there exciting things going on? Well, there's always exciting things going on. I know we're limited in our time. Uh, I will tell you that uh, we actually got approval for the hearing loop over in the chapel. I know that's something that okay. uh, you know, we've been waiting on, and so that will happen before the end of the year. Uh, and then we have some new benches and chairs uh, that will go about the community. Oh, wonderful. And so, yeah. So the outside benches and Correct. chairs. Oh, yes. wonderful! So yes. we're going to be able to finish all those up this year. Does it look like? Well, we're going to we're going to do our very best. Yes. Right. Very so good. That work will continue. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. And basically, all the windows are almost in. Yes, almost. Yeah. With that, speaking Closing of the windows, out. are we going to get new windows in the um, passageways between buildings, in the bridges? Are we going to be getting new windows in there? You know, let me raise that up um, to the. Um, to Lynn and the general services team uh, and the project management team. Because when you go through the, you know, all the glass, it does cool things down. Mm -hmm. uh, it does heat things up in the summer. And right. so I was just wondering if we're getting, you know, those replaced as well. And also within the different uh, dining venues, those windows as well. Um, because I noticed yesterday I was over at uh, the cafe and some of those windows are really fogged over uh, in regards to it. So they've gotten uh, air leaks within the seals uh, okay. in regards to it. Yeah, in the few months that I've been here, I've not heard that you know lifted up. But I'll make sure that you know we talk about that. And um, no, I appreciate you raising that up. Mark. Okay, definitely. Oh, okay, and one other thing that people have been asking me about: last week, apparently, we had six uh, fire trucks here at one time uh, over all, over toward they all went over toward Garden Ridge. Didn't know if there was anything. They could be passed on about that, or they just happen to be driving around. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, no, they don't just happen to come on campus just to, you know, uh, you know, throw beads and candy. But um, I, I'm not aware. Yes. So um, we did have in a residence apartment in Garden Ridge, we did have a uh, smoke situation mm. based on a compressor okay. um, that um, was not working or had a situation. Right. And so that's, everything was, uh, the resident was safe, nobody was compromised, um, they were there, it was just a smoke situation, it wasn't a fire. 
but when the fire alarm goes off, you have all hands on deck. Yeah. So that was addressed, the resident was safely um, put in a different apartment, and everything was cleaned within that apartment. So Wonderful. everything was fine. You know, that's really one of the nice things about living here is the fact that, that fire department, ambulance, they respond and they yes. immediately, immediately can, uh, you know, feel very safe in regards to that. Absolutely. And we have a competent team, you know, like Scott in the, in the maintenance team that yes. took care of the problem, you know, very quickly Correct. and, very and replaced it. So, yep. Very, very good. Well, it sounds like we've got a good team all the way from administration all the way through out Green Springs. So, uh, you know, you guys keep up the good work. Well, we're Thank a good you. team. We, we're a great with, team. <laughs> and, and with Clint interviewing us, we, you know, we'll, uh, we'll do good things. Good. And I just have one reminder yeah. for everyone, and that is the safest thing for you to maintain your own safety and the safety of our employees is to please, please, please wash your hands. Wash your yes. hands, sanitize your hands, wipe things down after you use them. Um, but washing your hands is the best thing you can do to have the precautions against any of the GI or flu viruses. Great advice, great advice. People please do that, right? Yes, yeah. please yeah. wash your hands. Very good. Well, again, thanks to both of you for being with us this morning and keep on leading us in good ways. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Clint. It's a pleasure. Thanks.